Hey there. In the previous session, we have learned how we can load the data from the single text file. But sometimes all data might not be stored within the same file. We might create individual files for the every thousand records or something else. Here I have created a new folder named Running Dataset. It contains the three CSV files. Each of them has the eight records without headings. And all the files have a copy for near value in the copy to output directory flag. And copy the input model from the previous session. Use the load from text file for input model. and a specify part to the a training data set folder here we want to load the data from the all the files under that folder so we can use the a star here and open the a preview at the end add a breakpoint update the program.cs file Save the file and run the project. Here we got an exception that the file does not found. Till version 1.5 preview 1, this was working properly. But in the preview 2, it's a mess up. If you are on the preview one, then you will get the 24 rows in the preview. I have already created an issue for this on a GitHub. So, might be this issue will be resolved in the latest version. Because official document still has the example of this wildcard usage. So, it's just bug. Here we just loaded all the files from the same folder. But sometimes all the files might not be present within the same folder or you don't want to load all of the files under that folder. For example, instead of loading those all three files, you just want to load the data from the first two files only. In that case, we need to use the text loader. Let me comment this first. Create it by calling the context.data.createTextLoader. Parameter of this method is similar to the load from text file. Main difference is that this model does not have a parameter for the path. We want to load data based on the input model and a separator will be comma. Now we have an instance of the text loader to load the data. To load the data, we need to use the load method and pass the file name that you want to load. Let's just load the first two files only. Save the file and run the project. This time you can see that it includes just 16 rows because both file contains the eight records. Let's see what we have learned in this session. If you just want to load all of the files under that particular folder, then you can use the star after folder name in the load from text file. And if you just want to load the specific files and the files from the various path, then you can use the text loader. Stay tuned for the next session.